Okay, so the time has come to actually cash in some of your crypto. Now, how do you even do it? It was very, very easy to get your cash from the bank into an exchange like Binance or something like that. How do you get it out? So well, once you've made some money, you wanna buy a car, you wanna buy a house, something like that. How are we gonna get it out? Well, in this video, we're gonna go through 14 different ways that you can use here in the UK to cash out your crypto. And I also have a little bit of a warning. So if you're currently using something like Binance or Crypto.com or Wirex or one of these type of app applications, Revolut is another one, uh, you may find that that is going to stop working. Maybe you've been using it for the last couple of years and everything's been fine to cash out. It may not work after the next couple of weeks. And the reason for that is the FCA. So we can see here that in addition, the FCA has granted temporary registration until the 31st of March, 2022 to existing crypto asset firms, okay? So this was something that they brought in a while ago and they wanted to basically regulate all of the crypto industry here in the UK. So any sort of crypto related type firm that wanted to offer people some sort of custodial service for a wallet or an exchange service or crypto to fear or any service like that, you need to be registered and approved with the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority here in the UK. If companies are not on this list by the 31st of March, then you can expect that they're gonna be getting a letter from the FCA telling them to cease activity here in the UK. And as we scroll down through this list, you will note the absence of companies like Binance, like Revolut, like Crypto.com. They are all missing from this list. So here we have Solidi. Now this is absolutely awful. This is an example of the types of things that the FCA has actually been authorizing. Uh, rather than things like Wirex and Revolut, which has been around for a while and is very trusted in the crypto space, they've been putting through total trash like this for you to use. It's rubbish. I definitely would not recommend this, even though it is actually approved by the FCA. Uh, also this one here, this is called getbab.com and they have the BAX token. And again, it's very, very, very poor quality. I definitely wouldn't trust this, particularly if you've got a lot, you know, like five or 10 Bitcoin or something to process. Uh, I would not trust these guys. This one here, this is called Zigloo. And I downloaded the app on this one. It also comes with a card, just like you would with Wirex or crypto.com. Um, unfortunately though, there is a problem. I got this, I was all excited about it. I got KYC verification and all that type of stuff set up. I was all ready to go on this. I was thinking it was the new Wirex. And then I had the bombshell that the Bitcoin wallet address that you have here, you cannot actually send any Bitcoin to it. You also cannot actually send out Bitcoin either. You just send in pounds and then you buy Bitcoin allegedly. And then at some point you can then put that Bitcoin, <laughs> supposed Bitcoin, back into uh, pounds and cash it out. Unfortunately, you know, if you're holding Bitcoin on an exchange like Binance or something, you can't send it to this uh, Ziglu app. And you also cannot take the Bitcoin that you've bought on this app and then send it out to an exchange like Binance or Qcoin or whatever it is that you want to use. So essentially the Bitcoin that you buy here is completely and utterly useless. So I had to just ditch Ziglu. Why would you want to buy Bitcoin if you can't use the Bitcoin, it's just stupid. So there's absolutely ridiculous, had to get rid of uh, Zigloo. And then came Mode, and I thought Mode, this uh, was a good looking one. I downloaded this as well, got very, very excited about it. And then it kind of turned out that again, everything was just in GBP. So you can connect your bank account, you can send in pounds, convert it allegedly into Bitcoin, but you can't actually send out the Bitcoin, you can't receive Bitcoin, you can't, you know, it's pretty useless. And so it's a very, very big problem. What you're gonna find with Mode is just like what I was just saying, the only currency is GBP. The only amounts that are allowed in this is GBP. There is no sign of Bitcoin. You do not have a Bitcoin wallet. And if you do not have a Bitcoin wallet, how is it 
that you supposedly are holding Bitcoin. I think it's an absolute scam, just like many of these apps that say you're buying Bitcoin, yet you don't have a Bitcoin wallet address. If you, How can Bitcoin exist if not in a wallet? So I think this again is an absolute scam. I wouldn't trust Mode, I wouldn't trust Siglu. This one here, Banks platform, again, it's pretty trashy. I don't like it. It's very, very poor quality. Why is the FCA not authorizing and approving Wirex or Revolut or something good and useful that everybody likes to use? Those aren't getting accepted. Binance isn't getting accepted. Just this total trash. Now there is some good ones coming up which you can actually use. I'm just going through the process here, showing the bad stuff first but it is gonna get better. Okay, so this one here is CoinPass. Again, I was quite excited about this one when I first saw it, and I thought this could be the answer. I had a quite snazzy looking website. Unfortunately, this main website isn't the full thing. When you do get into it, it looks more kind of like this. It's pretty rubbish. And uh, again, I wouldn't really wanna trust it with any large sums of money. And now we come to what I think is the eighth one on the list. This is a Bitcoin point, and it's just some sort of way that you can store Bitcoin, you can buy Bitcoin again, and you can uh, do a direct bank transfer, not Bitcoin transfer, bank transfer with your pounds. And obviously you can sell it via bank transfer, although your bank doesn't have a Bitcoin wallet address either. So of course this is selling it into Bitcoin to receive a GBP in your bank account. Again, just like many of these which are being approved by the FCA, you don't actually have any Bitcoin. They're just saying that you do. It's all pretend, it's all make-believe. But then we have this, Transact, and this is something completely different. So this one is not a sort of card that you can go and buy stuff with or buy Bitcoin or anything. This is a weird one that you may see coming up soon. I'm not quite sure what the use case is for this. Rather than coming up with something that people can buy stuff on your shop, on your online web store, this is just some sort of widget that you can have on your website so that your users can buy Bitcoin Bitcoin through their little widget API, uh, but I don't see any way on here that they can use to actually buy things on your website. That's kind of like what I was looking for, for the Master Ninjas, so that you could actually upgrade your Master Ninja stuff with this rather than using PayPal. Unfortunately, I can't seem to work out exactly how to get it to uh, buy things, but maybe it does. I don't know, I haven't looked into it in too much detail right now. And in at number nine, we have Zumo. And it's just another one, again, of one of these Visa cards where you can just send in your pounds. They say that you've bought Bitcoin. Bitcoin goes down in the bear market and then you've only got some money and they just keep the rest that you sent in. It's, it's a scam, guys, it's a scam. Zumo. Yeah, just another one. You're sending in pounds. You can only actually take out pounds and uh, they just, it's kind of like them going short on the market. So they market like crazy when the market for Bitcoin's really, really high. They get loads of people interested. Where like everybody is interested in Bitcoin when Bitcoin's making new all-time highs and going through the roof. So people would buy Bitcoin on this type of app. And then as the market goes down, they're, Bitcoin is going down in value, so that means they can cash out less pounds than what they put in, and these guys just take the profit. It's kind of like going short on the market, although we can't actually officially go short on the market here in the UK anymore because the FCA banned that here in the UK, but this is a way that institutions can go short with your money. Number 10, CoinJar. Now, CoinJar has actually been around for quite a while, so it's like Revolut and all that. It's been around for ages now, and uh, it is an option now. It is quite expensive to use for, for trading generally on there, but they do have a card and it's gonna cost you sort of like one to 2% per transaction, like crypto to crypto and crypto to fiat. It is without doubt a good option, which I definitely consider if you are looking for a way to sort of uh, send in your Bitcoin and cash it out to a bank. I've not downloaded this yet and actually tried it out, so I can't to say too much about it, but this is one which I will be trying in the next couple of weeks. Number 11, NetTeller. So this is one which I believe used to be used for just normal payments and now they've moved into crypto as well. 
and you know they've got a card which is pretty cool and it's okay this one is okay unfortunately when if for me you know you're looking to integrate it into a website and use the api yeah it's a little bit um they're not really telling you too much that you can't actually see the api docs you have to apply to them and whatever i'm not a fan i wouldn't actually use this one myself i have looked into it and tried to uh, get excited about it but no, it's not for me. Gemini, on the other hand, this is actually really cool and I really like this one. And it does look really good. I do like the card that they've got. Unfortunately, it is actually only available down here, it should say. Yeah, available to residents of all 50 US states. So it is only available if you're living in the United States. Like it says here, US only for the card. Uh, also down here, uh, Gemini Pay. So if you want to pay it on, on your mobile phone, on their app, that is US only as well. But in at number 13, we have Skrill. Skrill I have used in the past. Back in 2017, when I first got into crypto, I was using Skrill to buy into ICOs and that type of stuff. It was one of the things that I used first of all to actually get my cash from the bank into real Bitcoin. You can see here they do have a card. You can buy and sell crypto, pay for stuff online, send money. It is is a pretty good service however it is a little bit clunky it's not a real nice easy to use type software like Wirex app and and other things that you could have used before crypto.com again a little bit clustered crypto.com but it's kind of usable uh, this one I think they really need to work on their user interface and make it a bit more user friendly I don't like it what I do like though is this one. This is Uphold. And if you use the Brave browser like I do uh, to get away from Google Chrome and all their sort of spying on you all the time, I like to use Brave browser. It's much, much better. And they use Uphold. So if you're earning BAT tokens while using Brave, uh, which is really, really cool. I think I've made like over a thousand pounds over the last like year or so just by browsing the internet. And obviously I'm on here all day. So I probably use the internet more than most people, but it's great to actually make money just for browsing the internet. It is fantastic. I love Brave and I also love Uphold. So these guys, they kind of like work together with the guys from Brave, uh, totally supported by your UK bank, supported and approved by the FCA. So you can basically take your pounds and then send it into your bank account. All that you need to do is register your bank account and then you can just transfer the funds. I, I actually have an accountant uh, meeting, meeting with my accountant next Wednesday where I'm gonna have to talk through which account I need to put that into because well, you know, this this is just how it is here in the UK. You've got to make sure your accounting is on point. And with that said, Uphold is uh, in sort of like in partnership here with Acointin, Acointin.com. And uh, this is really, really good. So you can use this on Binance, on your Uphold account and a bunch of others that they support all kinds of things. So you can actually work out your crypto taxes. Now it does say at the bottom, this kind of put me off, I'll be honest. It says right down here at the bottom, uh, acointing.com made in CH. So I was a bit worried that meant China because I didn't want the Chinese government knowing about my Bitcoin transactions and all that. You know what they're like over there. So I checked and it turned out that CH is actually the country code for Switzerland. So that was good. So acointing.com is just a Swiss brand. In fact, if you go up here, so they, they do this for uh, the UK, the USA, Germany, Switzerland, uh, I think, the, what is that, Denmark or something, and maybe Australia. But yeah, these guys, I'm going to start using these to work out my own accounts. So as we get to the end of April, I'm going to have to do that and then download things from Binance and everything and put it all through here at Cointin.com. In fact, just here you can see all the different ones. You can see there's Binance, Binance Dex, Binance JE. I'm not sure that's even a thing anymore. Uh, Binance US all these different ones, different uh, Garda wallet, Gemini they, they're in with, and of course Uphold, what we were just talking about just there, and also Wirex as well, which is fantastic because Wirex is a real pain, um, so it'd be good to actually link that up as well. So Cointin.com looks to me to be a really awesome uh, way to actually work out your taxes if you're in the UK or any of those other countries that we just mentioned. How much does it cost? Uh, it looks like if you're just an average trader, it's gonna be 79 pounds, which is 
just nothing. Uh, for the time it's gonna take you to manually go through all those transactions, 79 pounds, even if you're paying 199 pounds, I would gladly pay that to not have to go through. Just Wirex alone is an absolute nightmare. So to just be able to sort of plug it in and integrate it with that application and then work out all your taxes for the year, 100% no brainer, yes, I'm gonna be doing that.